Myths were created by early civilizations to make sense of things happening in the natural world around them. In Greek mythology, the Titan Atlas bore the weight of the heavens on his shoulders. A Greek myth is that Zeus, a god, threw down lightning bolts onto Earth when he was in a rage. Whilst Norse myth reckons that Thor, another god, would cause lightning with his massive hammer. So Norse people and the Greeks talked about the same thing, but used different myths. The gods, creatures and heroes in myths are supernatural beings in a battle of good versus evil, but were given human qualities to help teach people how to live better. They make for fantastic stories. Hello there, Grey Group. Welcome back. It's your last week before half term. Have you enjoyed it? I hope so. Now, I've chosen a non-fiction book again. This one is called Mythical Monsters. Have a look at this picture. What do you think is happening? What do you think this animal might be? And what has it done? I really hope you enjoy this book. I chose it especially for you. Let's first look at the story green words and the red words in this book. Right, let's look at these story green words. And you can see on here, the special friends have been underlined to help you. The first word, m, ith, i, k, al. We say mythical. Your turn. The next one. Special friends, e, and m. Mm. E s um fearsome. Your turn. And the next one. Special friends ow and er p ow er f o oh, powerful. Your turn. Special friends a t a o oh, tail. Your turn. See if you can finish the next line by yourself, remembering to notice the special friends first, then use Fred Talk and finally read the whole word. If you can read the whole word straight away, just read it. Pause the video, finish off those story green words. Right, let's look at the red words today. Not quite as many. Here they are. We have from the top line, my turn, your turn. Are you ready? Many, your turn. One, your turn. Were, people, there, two, could, there, and other. Now you'll, you will notice that there are two there's. I wonder if you know why there are two and what the differences are. If you do know, why don't you write down or record the answer and send it to us on Tapestry or Google Classroom. Right, let's look at the vocabulary check. So we start at the top, I will read the definition and then the sentence that you will find in the book. Are you ready? Mythical. Mythical means creatures from traditional tales that are not real. The sentence. Mythical monsters such as goblins and vampires. And then there's an ellipsis. Those three dots because something happens next, but I'm not going to give it away. The next word, goblins. Goblins are small creatures that like to cause trouble. Goblins are just found in stories. Vampires. Vampires are human-like creatures that drink blood. 
Vampires are just found in stories. They're not real. Fear factor. The fear factor is how scary something is. And in the book, it says check their fear factor. You'll notice on each page, they've been given a number to show how scary they are. You will notice on each page, they've been given a number to show how fearful or scary something is. Fearsome beast is a scary creature. This fearsome beast was a two-headed dog. Powerful means strong. A two-headed dog with powerful jaws. Serpent is another word for a snake. It had a serpent's tail. Ooh. Entire means the whole of something. It could make the entire ship and its crew disappear. Crew, all the people who helped to sail a ship. It could make the entire ship and its crew disappear. Well done, great group. There we have the definitions, which will help with the story. Hello, great group. I would like you to have your first read. So remember to pause the video so that you can read the words correctly. Enjoy. Bye for now.